Uh, he's on Zoom. So DSP Bright and Duffy, that's the police public relations officer of Delta State Command. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, good, good to have you. So give us an update on um, this arrest um, that happened, the, the humanization of this young woman. What happened exactly? Okay, I've been following the program and I want to quickly correct an impression before I proceed. The, it's as alleged that they went to arrest the son of the woman is not true. Uh, someone, one Mr. Tango James, actually reported a case of assault and malicious damage against the woman. That was why the police went there to effect that arrest. Unfortunately, the policemen exhibited what the command even till now cannot explain it. What they were thinking is something that we cannot explain because it is unreasonable for policemen to behave that way. Rope is not part of police accountability, and as such should not even be using whatever guys. Secondly, the woman was naked. I was made to understand that she was putting, she was tying a wrapper that, that uh, was put off her body during the altercation. Well, at that point, I believe they ought to have looked for a way to cover the woman, and if they must restrain her, then they have to use handcuffs. So going that far in the name of trying to effect that arrest is so wrong, so bad, so painful. The command is sad as we speak, the CP is sad, and that is why they are currently in detention, and they will be tried summarily on oath. And when I say on oath, it goes two ways. It is either dismissal or reduction in rank. I want to assure that woman and members of the public that this policeman will not go on point. CP, should I, let me ask you, these men that arrested this woman, were they trained or not trained? Have they been trained? Should they know better? If they were not trained, we will not be having the right to detain them and want to try them on the road. Yeah. They have been trained and retrained. Even in the command level, we organize training and retraining for policemen where we draw out four, four personnel from each division on two weeks basis. So if we have not done our own part, they will not be, will not have the right to punish them. It is because we have done our part and they know mm. that they have not done the right thing. The Commissioner of Police, Delta State, always have this monthly briefing with officers and men. Where he speaks with men, the officers tell them to go back to their division and cascade the message Downward. So we have been doing that, apart from the training at the college and the, the police training station level, we have always been training and retraining them. There are times I myself, when I have the opportunity to talk to them, I let them know that we should be civil when we are dealing with members of the public. And I give them reasons. We are, we are from different homes, different backgrounds. We also have civilians among us. Like in my family, currently I'm really serving for this man. So other members of my family, they are civilian and I will not be happy if they are treated the way that woman was treated. Okay. I like um, how you're sounding and uh, we're living to see the day where the police will be holding itself accountable when they do wrong. And this is very, um, I'm going to applaud you for this. Uh, well done. And um, I would like to ask, are you trying to upgrade your training in such a way? So there, there's a difference between gathering people together and having a conversation on what to do and what not to do. And you understand that the kind of job you're doing, the people who are at, um, you know, handling those positions must be at a level where their mind is sane most of the time. So are you considering in that training where you could have uh, therapists come one-on-one -on -one to talk to these police officers? Their job is enormous. And with all the pressures of Nigeria, sometimes they would flip. Are you considering that? That's like an upgrade in the training so that you have better men representing the police force out there? We are not just considering that. We are already on that. Okay. Just two weeks before election, we have delegates from police trust fund that came to the command to lecture officers and men on emotional intelligence. It's yeah. very, very important. So we are not starting it now. It's something that we have been doing. And that is why the policemen have been somewhat detained and their trial will commence today. Because we have been doing this thing. Exercise of discretion is key mm. when we are carrying out our police duties. Mm. It is expected that those policemen, about three of them are inspectors of police. To be an inspector of police, ah. it is expected that they have put up about 15 years in service, the wow. least. So they ought to have known what is right and what, what is wrong. Is so to your question, 
it's not something we are starting now. It's something that we have okay. since started in synergy with other human rights All organizations. Right. All right. So let me ask this question. I mentioned it just before you came on um, about the fact that if uh, an arrest was about to take place and the person you're about to arrest trips naked, we've seen that happen a few times. Um, law enforcement officials stop a traffic, um, someone that was contravening traffic rules and the person just removes his clothes. And what would be the next step? that the law enforcement person should have carried out if they see that the person they are trying to arrest is naked? Removing the clothes is not, if, if someone that is about to be arrested removes his or her clothes, that is not the problem of the police. However, the mode of arrest is key. I think why we are having this conversation now is down to how this woman was molested. Using a rope to tie her like a common criminal. Even criminals have rights. So if her clothes out of her body, if the camera that was recording captured the policeman trying to cover the woman's nakedness, I believe you will be applauding the police for their actions by now. Yeah. So what the police are supposed to do in cases like that, if you have reasons to believe that this person is insane, you can discretionally leave that person, contact the right authority to come and take over custody of that person. But if the person is doing that willfully, knowing that that person is sound, you can still do all you can to arrest lawfully, not using rope or any accoutrement that is not given to the police. To the police person effecting that arrest by the police organization itself is wrong. What the policeman did there is not something that we can even try to defend. Yes, Mariam has a question for the yes, guest. I would just like if you could help um, inform us and educate us on what the minimum requirement or criteria is for the police force to, you know, um, for the for a police officer to join the police force, like academically, I understand. Is it do they have to have gone through university or is it secondary school? And the quality of people, like personally, um, their personality. How do you vet, you know, those kind of people uh, or the people that apply to join the police force? And do you have like a the, do, would you say we have quite a number of Nigerians that fall within the criteria that the police force is seeking? I don't think this is okay, the minimum requirement to join the police force at the recruit level is senior school, senior school living certificate, that is SSC. That's the minimum requirement at the recruit level, not at the, the uh, officer cadre. However, what we do now is, for the officer cadre, we admit them into our university, that is the police academy, Udi, where they are admitted with their O level certificate and they are trained for, they are trained in that university for about four to five years, where they now become graduate students. But for the recruitment level, those that want to start as a constable, the minimum requirement is SSC. Okay. All right, so when do we hope to see um, prosecution? Because usually when the police detains many of their officers, we don't really get to hear what happens afterwards. Will we be give updated on, on what's going to be happening to these people? I think there are three men and one woman, correct? Four men and one female. Four men and one woman, okay. When do we get to hear? Okay. Yeah. Yes, like be just before... This program, I got a call from the CP, and the CP gave a very firm directive that the evidence is already overwhelming, so there is nothing to investigate. The evidence is clear and obvious. <laughs> wow. So they will be tried summarily. I mean, I believe today is Monday okay, before so the end of this week. The trial should be concluded, and like I stated in my press release, the outcome of the original trial will be made public. Fantastic. Yeah, Thank you're you so a different much. breed. Yeah, so, very, this, so this is so DSP Bright yes. Edafi. He's the PRO officer for Delta State Command. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. For Thank you. See, I mean, Thank you. joining Thank us you this morning. morning. And what have we done for the woman? The woman that was Come brutalized. Again. What has the police force done for the woman that was brutalized? Any form of compensation or at least sitting down with her and talking to her? What has the police done anyway? Yes, the, the CP has mandated the DPO Agbaro division to reach out to the woman and her family. I believe by the end of today, we'll be able to get one or two feedback from the DPO. Mm. 
Thank you very much. I think I'll let you go at this time. It was Thank really, you. really great to refreshing. hear. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really refreshing to hear the Nigerian police speak Thank concerning you. these Thank kind you. of things this way. Um, I think Nigerians always want to hear empathy. They want to hear that Nigerians are concerned, the police are concerned. Um, yes, we're not making excuses. We're just painting different scenarios to understand the very, various perspective to an issue. And I'm happy that the police, but it's interesting that the, the police can say here in this case, and there's nothing to investigate. It's, it's open and shut. Absolutely. But there have been other several cases <laughs> that we've seen that it's open and shut. And they'll still tell you that uh, we see investigation will be ongoing. That was but, then. But you know one of the things I, that the press really said, and even the, the, um, the PRO said, rope. You, you, other videos, we don't, you don't see rope. Like, you do not, it's not just that you dehumanize someone. You used a mm. tool that was not provided. in any way provided for you. Where like you, 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 you are, where did you get the rope for? Why did you use the rope? Yeah, you have, error. yeah, so Go you see that there, there are things, that's why I said it was, it was, of course, the open and short case is like, we, we can see that you used the rope. What I'm saying that in our experience on this table, uh -huh. we have yes. seen several open and short cases yes. of videos. So, I, can't, I can't recall now, but there's been so many cases where you tell the police, the police say, investigation yeah, are still ongoing. Yeah, ongoing. because sometimes they can so, be shamed. But to hear the same police mm. tell you today that this one is very obvious, there's no, there's hardly any. <laughs> Well, well, I guess it's only the police that can tell you if it is open and yes. shut. You as a Nigerian, you can decide what's know. open and shut, but the police may not think. Especially because what we see is usually not the entire story. Yeah. Remember what he said that uh, we, the story we heard was they were going to arrest the son, the son, and then found out that um, she, she was the one that was being arrested in place of the son, only for him to say that he, well, that wasn't the story. That, yeah. So sometimes what we see on social media is not the truth. But if the police yeah. is saying from their own point of view that we believe that our own people were culpable in how they managed this situation, then. It is inspiring hope mm. in the police system, and we need to see. We, need, we don't want to see more crimes, but we just want this to be highlighted yeah. a whole lot more. And the same people that made that video of the pulling go viral. Please take the video of what the police PRO for Delta State just said. Mm. Let it go viral as well. Let people see that the police yes. are doing what they can within their own control to ensure the system is cleaned up with it from inside out. Even the posture of this police. Mm. So please make I it go viral. Think some defensive at all. Yeah. Some other. Police or PRO need PRO. to learn from yeah. the, the uh, officer that's the mm -hmm. other thing. Because the way he was saying, he even the way he's, you know how we've, ah, we've seen plenty of PRO uh -uh. comes on this stage. Then we right shut now. you up in your. They will tell you, you see, see that is not how it is done. No, 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 you don't understand it. Let me just say, we've had but he, I mean, I'm just, I'm this one. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just Nigerian police, because I am trying to, I am an optimist and I believe that Nigeria can work. I'm one person that I believe that. The police is making an effort. Yes, sometimes we don't see it on the roads. Yeah. When our youngsters say they arrested me because I have dreadlocks, we see that the profiling is still going on. Mm -hmm. But we also know that the police is trying to make an effort. Mm. And the posture of, listen, this case, it's clear. We're going to do what we're doing. We've arrested them. It's wrong. You know, they, they itemize the issues they've had with the video mm. and what happened. And they're also telling us, even the women mm. will be, will be, uh, will be accordingly mm, visited. Um, visited and, you know, should be, should be sorted out. So that's a good, that, that's refreshing to know. And when we hear these kind of stories, we highlight it because we want Nigerians to believe in the system. And it starts, but that's my, that, that's my continuous grouse. We, the people, always find every opportunity to bring down what is ours. And if we see that Nigerian police is doing better, we should applaud them.